Since we all know it is one of our biggest complaints, sleep or really the lack thereof. And in today's Family Focus, we're tackling those nighttime issues that keep you and your little ones from getting the rest that everybody needs. Our Dr. Malcolm Marshall joins us now with some sleep solutions. All right, we first want to make sure that our kids are ready for bed. That's right. So we kind of split them up into two camps, right? What you can yeah. do before bed and what you do at bedtime. So before bed, tire them out. Make sure they get lots of activity. So even if they haven't had school, make sure you run, run them. Run, run, run. Yeah, like you would a dog, right? Exactly. Not on a leash. <laughs> um, and then you want to make sure you sort of calm things down before bedtime. So in those early sort of evening hours, dim the lights, do some quiet, calm activities. And not just in their bedroom, but maybe lower the lights wherever you are yes, if you can. Yes, wherever you can have a dimmer. I do this at night too I for myself, okay. right? Like at about 7 o'clock, I start <laughs> turning down some lights. Um, and then do quiet activities. So reading, bath time, maybe play a board game if you have time for that. Um, but don't have them look at screens right before okay. bed. Make sure you avoid those one to two hours. Hours before bedtime because those can be very stimulating and then when it comes time to the actual bedtime make sure it's the same time every night and you're waking them up the same time every morning so they get into a good habit okay. make sure you put them to sleep in a quiet dark cool room right make sure it's not too hot and they don't have too many blankets and they're kicking things off exactly so make sure it's nice and cool you can use a very dim night light if they prefer that make sure they have their lovey or their blankie or their favorite stuffed animal Love you, baby. Go to sleep. Bye -bye. Tuck them in and go back to your space. Okay. Now, in all likelihood, <laughs> many nights a week, a child is going to get up and be like, Mommy, can right. I climb in bed with you? I had a dream about a clown. Right, exactly. <laughs> yep. No, darling, come on. And you go and you take them right back to bed. Sort of minimize how much interaction you have with them. Love you. Tuck them in. Go back to bed. It can be very exhausting for you those first few nights, but over time it should pay off. And, and if it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's amazing to me. So my son is a terrible sleeper. Yes. Um, and probably, you know, he's six and a half and in his life has probably slept through the night fully, uh, I don't know, 10% of the time. Wow. Um, so strategies, like if you have a child that is either waking up agitated or just wants to move into your room. Right. I mean, look, I'm weak at 3 o'clock in the morning, so if my daughter comes and climbs in bed with me, Path do I have that? Resistance. Exactly. Fine, honey, come on. Let's go back right. to sleep, right? So you do what you got to do in order to make sure that you're well rested yep. and that you're not stressed out. There are children that have real sleep disorder, so if you think it's affecting their behavior or that they really aren't accumulating as much sleep as they need every night, yep. then you probably should consult your pediatrician because there may be some sort of professional tips that you might need to follow. Okay. <laughs> that might be next. We'll see. <laughs> Right. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. And for more medical stories and other headlines, stay here, cbsboston.com.